Welcome to our Bible study here at Holy Family Catholic Church in Austin, Texas. We are getting ready for the eighth Sunday of Ordinary Time, which is our last Sunday before jumping into Lent next Wednesday, which is Ash Wednesday. So we will not have our Bible study next Wednesday. Instead, we'll be celebrating Ash Wednesday. Our first reading this week comes to us from the book of Sirach. So we'll have Rudy start us off with the first reading from the book of Sirach. When a sin is shaken, the husk appears. So do one's faults when one speaks. We'll pause right there. So a sieve then is some sort of, uh, can we come up with a better word than a sieve? It's like a colander. Uh, like a colander. So it's, it's something where, for instance, when I think of a sieve, I think of gold miners who go out there and they, they have this, uh, it's sort of like a mesh that, that uh, allows the dirt to fall through so they can find the gold. However, what the author of the book of Strack is saying is that when a person speaks, what you start to see is not gold that emerges. Well, with some people it might be gold that emerges, but with other people, when they start opening their lips, what you start seeing are the husks rather than the grain. We have to be careful when we open our mouths. Ready to continue? As a test of what the potter molds is in the furnace, so in tribulation is the test of the just. We'll pause there. So are we all familiar with the furnace is the test of what the potter makes. Have you have all made clay objects before? You make something out of clay, like I'm thinking in school, and then they put it into the kiln, K-I-L-N, they put it in the kiln, the furnace, which heats it up, and some pieces are going to come out whole, other pieces are going to explode in the furnace. Not really? Well. And so it's the same with the tribulation. Tribulation is the test of the just. For some people, tribulation, challenges in life, are going to be set some people, some people are going to explode, like the some pieces in the kiln. Other people are going to grow stronger as a result. Think about that great image. And Rudy will finish off the reading. The fruit of the tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So the third image he uses is the fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So look at the fruit, and that'll tell you about the sort of care that that tree has received. In the same way, look at a person's words, and that will tell you something about that person's mind. These are like the arguments that are here, right? The, the fruit of the tree tells you how that tree was taken care of. A person's words tell you about that person's mind. Because isn't it true that every word that comes out of a person's mouth started in that person's mind? Which is why this reading reminds us we need to be careful before we open our mouths because that's when people are going to see what's really inside our hearts. Keep your mouth shut. People can't see what's inside your heart. The moment you open your mouth or the moment you do or don't do something, that's when people see what's inside our hearts. Good or bad. Good or bad. Right? Whether it's good fruit or bad fruit. We know that Luke loves to use that image of fruit. Bearing fruit. What kind of fruit are you bearing in your life? I have a feeling that we're going to hear the gospel as well. Any questions or comments as you hear the first reading for Sunday, this eighth Sunday in Ordinary Time? If not, let's take a look at the response for the Psalm, Psalm 92. Are there any words or phrases that bridge back to that first reading? We know that the response to psalm is our way of responding. The bishops choose a psalm that might serve as a response to that. See any words or images that might link to what we just heard in the first reading? They shall bear fruit even in old age. Oh, they shall bear fruit. Where do we hear the, the, the reference to fruit before? Of course, at the end of that first reading. One shall flourish like a palm tree. Or? Shall flourish like the palm tree, like the cedar of Lebanon. So if you think of these tall, strong trees, how it is the tribulation. Oh boy, I'm thinking of like here in Texas, sometimes you have hurricanes coming off the Gulf of Mexico, right? Hurricanes, hurricanes break some trees, other trees stand strong, right? When the, when the hurricanes of life, the challenges, the tribulation of life comes at you, those are the furnace moments of life. Are you going to be one who is made stronger? Are you going to let those things break you. And if we were all honest and thought about our own families, friends, co-workers, 
can probably think of a few people who were broken by the challenges of life, whether that was through addictions of any sort, whether that was through the taking of their own lives, whether it was going into prolonged periods of depression or dark periods. Any other words or phrases? For me, the one that jumps out is the second verse begins with the word just. Do you see the word just in the first reading? Tribulation is the test of the just. Paradoxes. I'm tempted to skip to the gospel next, only because it's often easier to draw a connection between the first reading and the gospel than it is to the second reading, because the second readings always go in sequence, so it's a little more difficult. Shall we go to the gospel first <coughs> and see? I don't know, There's at least in my edition, there's a line that's missing from my gospel. And the third sentence goes, but when fully trained, do you notice the splinter? There's a, I don't know if you all... Every disciple will be like his teacher. That may be the line is missing. I have a large print edition, so it's, I'm guessing you know, that it may be correct in the book that you have. Can I read the gospel? Is there where you're jumping in? Sure. The gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye. You hypocrite. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. We'll just pause right there. Can a blind person lead a blind person? Jesus is asking a rhetorical question. No, right? The blind can't lead the blind, which is interesting because Jesus, of course, is posing many of these parables to people like the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious leaders of his day. So what is he implying? That they're blind. And it's interesting because we have in the Gospels this irony, if you will, that those who, who, who can see, the scribes and the Pharisees, are the ones who end up being blind. And those who are blind, like the man that we'll see later tonight in our study of the Gospel of Luke, even though they're blind, they're the ones who recognize Jesus. So it causes us all to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, am I how blind am I? Not only to Jesus, but also, say, to the needs of those around us. How blind and or deaf am I? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, is equal to the teacher. And then we love this extended, uh, this extended image that's shared by Jesus, right? We so get so fixated on, 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 on the little details that drive us crazy in other people. Oh, don't you just hate how he does that? Oh, did you, did you see her? Right? We get, so we, we get so hung up on little things in others, and Jesus is saying, wait a minute, before you point one finger at someone else, recognize that there are three pointing back at you. Rather than looking at that splinter in that person's eye, right? notice how it is that you have a wooden beam sticking out of yours, buddy. Take a wooden beam out of your own eye first, and then you'll be able to see others more clearly. In the meantime, you hypocrites, who are you to judge others when you don't even look at yourself and see, see uh, the situation as it is? Jordan, we'll finish it up. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Do we see that the bridge we go back to the first reading? Here in this last section, talking about fruit. The first reading was talking about the fruits as well of our actions. How it is that we are known by our fruits by our words and our actions, by what did we bring into the world, that tells people how good or bad we are. What are your fruits? Right? Your fruits. 
good fruits, bad fruits. I like that statement where he says, praise no one before he speaks, for it is rare that people test it. <coughs> you know, sometimes we want to hear the old thing, the old uh, speech. Stuff. <laughs> or he did right, yeah. or whatever, yeah. whatever uh, treats us ourselves. We have to be careful. Every word that comes out of our mouth, everything that we do or don't do, starts within us. And so, anytime that all of our words and all of our actions tell people about something within us, right? questions or comments on the gospel? If not, then that brings up to chapter 15 of the first letter of the Corinthians. St. Paul is giving us an extended lesson on victory over death. Who'd like to read the second reading for us? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, when this which is corrupt, which is corruptible, clothes itself with incorruptibility, and this which is mortal clothes itself with immora immora immortality, then the world that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved sis brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, Steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, in the ancient world, in this world of dichotomy, where we often find of things in reality, that something is either one thing or it's another thing, right? Either it is death or it is life. In this instance, for Christians, death is not the end. Instead, for us, life is the end, victory. Christ rose from the dead, thus giving us victory over sin and death. And so, whereas were it not for Christ and the resurrection, our mortal, corruptible bodies would end in death as a result of Christ's life and rising to, to eternal life, all of us will be immortal and enjoying incorruptibility. Death is swallowed up in victory. You gotta love this poem in the first letter of the Corinthians. <coughs> death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. So thanks to God who gives us victory through Jesus Christ. And it ends on this very positive note. Therefore, beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, and always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Ethics has everything to do with our actions, right? The ethical nature of our actions, how good or bad are our actions, right? What impact do our words and actions have on others? If we were to use the images in the scriptures this coming Sunday, it has everything to do with fruit. What type of fruit are you bearing in your life? 
in the ancient mind, everything was one thing or another thing. So whether good fruit or bad fruit, good fruit equals heaven, bad fruit equals hell. I was looking at uh, different religions. It, it lists uh, all kinds of religions, but they all agree, do unto others as, as though they will do unto you. In uh, Confucius, Zoroastrians, uh, Hindu, all of them. The golden rule. The set the golden rule. I'm having trouble with the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. Um, you, you probably you probably cleared it up a little bit. I guess I wasn't I didn't catch it. Sure, sure, sure. Let's let's uh, try it back again. So the key words that we're seeing here are law <laughs> and sin and death. Of course, sin is the sting of death. So law essentially. How does the these lead to one another? How does the adherence to the law? Think of this for a moment. I mean, in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, the law was seen as sort of like the gateway to salvation. But by Jesus' time, it was so corrupted that there was there were many people who were so strictly adhering to the law without any love in their hearts. Right? Think about that for a moment. In modern day terms, it would be like we're just making this up. But imagine if a person went to church even though that person didn't have any love in their heart. It's sort of like they're, just, they're fulfilling the rules. They're doing what they believe they need to do to go to heaven. But what about what's happening inside that person's heart? So this, the law leading to sin, sin leading to death. What would be interesting is if we sort of reverse it, the values that Jesus had were we're not so much law and the following of all these rules. Here are 613 rules for you to follow. Karma wasn't so much about that. For Jesus, it was more about mercy, love, forgiveness. Forgiveness might lead over here to sin, we don't accept that down. And as a result of those, then we enjoy life. This thing of sin is death. This thing of death is sin. Nice. Which is why the Lenten message is so important to repent, because ultimately the ancient church believed that if we continue in sin, unless we repent, then this is the only outcome. When we repent and ask for God's love and mercy and forgiveness, that's when we come into this column. You said that was the Lenten message? The, the Lenten message is certainly one of repentance. When we receive the ashes, there are two formulas we could use. Either we could use, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return, which reminds us of our mortality. The other is, repent and believe the good news. Which was Jesus' message. When Jesus started preaching, what was his message? Repent and believe the good news. What does that mean? Repent. If you've turned your back on God in any way, or if you've turned your back on others, to repent is to turn around. If you did or said anything this week, or didn't do or didn't say anything this week, by which you turned your back on God and or on others, <coughs> then it's time for us to focus on turning back around. Could you almost even say that, that Lent is a good time to remove the beam out of your eye? That's right? a great time for that. Every day is a great time, don't get me wrong. But particularly during Lent. Lent right? is a particular time of prayer and fasting and almsgiving. So maybe part of our prayer would be praying that God might help us to realize, you know, what are the beams in my eye? What are the beams in my heart? What help do I need to, to face up to those? We're all human beings, right? What are, the, what are the particular challenges that I have? And how does that shape my prayer? Lord, give me the strength. Give me the gifts that I need to... We are the only rational animal. Human beings are the only There's rational no animal. creature. There's no other creature that looks into a mirror and recognizes itself as an eye. That's pretty cool. We have 
someone at some point by something that you say or don't say, by something that you do or don't do, how do we continue to turn toward one another and grow in our relationships rather than <coughs> fracturing those relationships? <coughs> you ready for the rosary? Let's do it. Pause. Thank you. Tell us uh, what are... The Glorious Mysteries. The glorious Page mysteries. 46. Page 46. And who's leading us in the Glorious Mysteries on page 46? The Glorious Mysteries on page 46. for my family and extended family and all of us in this holy family Catholic Church. Uh, I I have to say something about my daughter. My daughter Tina, uh, ever since she was a child, she has had problems with her liver. And it might in the future her doctor said that she might have to have a transplant. Mm -hmm. This is very serious. And uh, she has to apply to uh, to get a donor. And uh, uh, she has, ever since she was about 12, she, she started having that problem. But uh, she has managed to, to do well so far. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just pray for her, and I hope everybody can pray for her too. So that, that is the worst of my worry right now. That is stops. Thank you. I continue to pray for, uh, pray to, for my... Uh, for my friend's uh, mother, Miss Ibarra, who uh, is doing not very well in, in, in the hospital. Uh, uh, 
she's suffering from COVID. I don't know if everybody was here last time. And uh, also, I'd like to include my son for, for his birthday. I'd like to include my son, pray for him also. And uh, that, oh, and, and be careful if you're going out the ramp because it's, it's starting to ice up out there. You'll just slick. I would like to pray for my, my grandma Lupe, my mom, all of my nieces and nephews, Natalie, Penelope, Stephanie, uh, Felicia, and Faith, and all the people I work with. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you. For these, we pray, pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I believe in the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The, the communion of saints, saints the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins the, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pray for an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Amen. My hope comes from God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Amen. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Amen. Almighty Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most in need of your mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of the Lord. God raised Jesus from the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Walking to the tomb at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary asked, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Behold, there was a great earthquake, and the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and rolled back the stone, stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting on the right, dressed in a white robe. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The angel said, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth. 
crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Go quickly and tell <laughs> his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and is going before you to Galilee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The women <clears throat> ran from the tomb with fear and great joy to tell the disciples, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. <clears throat> Simon Peter ran to the tomb with the disciples Jesus loved. The other disciples saw and believed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary Magdalene saw Jesus, but was not, but did not recognize him. Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Where have you laid him? Jesus said to her, Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Mary Magdalene ran to the disciples and said, I have seen the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That evening, Jesus appeared to his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world and Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be delivered. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of the Lord into heaven. Jesus returned to God in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus stood <clears throat> before his disciples and said to them, Peace. They were startled and frightened, thinking they were seeing a ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus said, See my hands and my feet. It is me. Ghosts do not have flesh and bones as I do. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. He asked, Do you have anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, which he ate. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Then Jesus said, I spoke my words to you, that everything written about me in the scriptures might be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Thus it is written, uh, written that the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise, rise from raised from the dead, and that the forgiveness of sins should be preached to all nations, 
beginning from Jerusalem. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in our hour of death. Amen. Jesus appeared to his disciples for 40 days, uh, sharing with them convincing evidence that he was alive and speaking with them about God's kingdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He told them, John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Leading his disciples to Beth Bethany, Jesus blessed them, and he was carried up into heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. While the disciples stared at the sky, Two men in white clothes suddenly stood near them and asked, Why are you looking at the sky? Jesus was taken to heaven, but he will come back in the same way that you saw him go. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, and not at the hour of death. Amen. Amen. The disciples returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without an end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, sharing with them multiple gifts and bringing the birth, bringing the birth to birth the church. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When Pentecost came, the fiftieth day after Passover, all the disciples were together in one place. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our death. Amen. Suddenly, a violent wind blew through the house where they were and tongues of fire appeared and rested over them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability to speak. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Devout Jews from every nation were in Jerusalem. They were startled to hear the disciples speaking in different dialects. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Stunned and amazed, the people said, We hear these Galileans speaking in our in our own languages about the miracles that God
God has done. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of our death. Amen. In one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of our death. Amen. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Stir into the flame the gifts God has given you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As good stewards of God's very graces, use the gifts you have received to serve one another. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was, it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all our sins. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who know the need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. At the end of her life on earth, Mary was assumed, body and soul, into heavenly glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark that you have made holy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God's temple in heaven was open, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen in the temple. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She gave birth to a son, destined to rule all nations with an iron rod, and her child was taken up to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come. The kingdom of our God and the authority of God's anointed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Therefore, rejoice, you, you heavens, and and you will, <coughs> you who will dwell in them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and the blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the woman was given the wings of a great eagle, so that she could fly to her place. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. The dragon became angry with the woman and waged war against her offspring, against those who keep God's commandments and bear witness to Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of our death. Amen. The Queen stand, stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of death. And the last enemy to be destroyed is death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without sin. Amen. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who know the need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. <clears throat> Mary was crowned as queen of heaven and earth. Our, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let the maiden who pleases the king be queen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of our death. Amen. He set the crown upon her head and made her queen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The queen was brought before the king with the royal crown. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He had a throne set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She is the king's daughter. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. We have come down to greet the children of the king and the children of the queen mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Burn incense to the queen of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. You are adored with gold and silver, and your dress is of fine linen, silk, and embroidery cloth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, not at the hour of death. Amen. You eat fine flour, honey, and oil. You are exceedingly beautiful and royal. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. She says in her heart, I sit as a queen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of the hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life and our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And, Amen. and, they, may, the, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For those who are joining us on Facebook, we'll take a brief break and we'll be right back.